All right, so once you get your plate done, we're going to move on to the next step, like I was just telling most of you. And so all of you have a piece of white paper. This is going to be our test paper. And you do not need tape for this. Um, I had a couple of people who had moved around, and that's okay. Because what our goal is for this is just to make sure our details are where we need them. I am, however, going to do my best to hold it in place. So I'm lining it up in the corner. I've got a little crayon. Now, if your eyes are not on the screen, please look up. And I'm going to be using the edge of the crayon like this. It's going to lay flat, and I'm going to rub it like this. You do not want to scribble it like you would normally color. And if you guys remember, I talked to you about, uh, most of you have done a, a leaf rubbing before, where you put a leaf underneath, underneath a piece of paper and you rub it. And this is the same thing, except we are creating our own image on this project. So again, I've got my plate underneath this piece of paper. I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to hold it um, flat against the paper. And I'm just going to go over it mainly in one direction. I might change a little later, but I'm going all the way to that board, the um, plate, which is right here. And I'm just going to go over it and over it. Every time I pick up um, my hand that's holding the paper, I put the other one down because I want this to stay in place. So my left hand right now is the one that's holding it. My right hand, whoops, that's why. My right hand is the one that's doing the rubbing with the crayon. And you can see this is my plate right here, the edge of the plate. So I'm missing a little bit over by this ear. I'm going to go over it over here. And at this point, things are really showing up. But I'm going to go over it now in this direction just to give it a little more solid layer and get rid of some of those lines. See if there's any more details I might be missing. So I'm just going to rub over it. And I like the way that this little edge is showing up more. So I'm going to go in this direction. And if I feel like, you know what, I want that to show up a little bit more, you might be able to bring it out. But I don't know that all of this has to have really dark lines. The dark and light areas are what's pretty cool. Okay, so did the image show up? Yeah, yeah I did. However, I will tell you, if I had time, I would probably, which you guys do, I would say, you know what, I want to do one more um, detail work on this to say before I can say I'm really ready for my final print. And that, I talked about that in the very first um, video, that I should probably add another piece that comes, sticks up off right here and here for the top part of the helmet. Because they kind of show up, but not as well as I would like. So this would be a good time to say, yep, I'm going to finish that, and then I should be go ready to go because everything else shows up. All right? And so this is the next step. This is what I want you to get done today. And again, you do it and you say, well, that didn't show up. Maybe then that you need to go back, draw, cut out, and add some more pieces like what I would do here. All right? Does that make sense? Okay. So that's what you're going to do today. Now, for some of you, you may get that done and say, Mrs. Truey, I'd like to move on. I want to move on to this step where I do four of these drawings and I'm going, or these rubbings. But you notice this time, what's different? Multicolors. Thank you, whoever yelled that out. Yeah, there's multicolors. So you're going to layer two colors each time you do a rubbing. And this is why we're going to probably need some tape, okay? So we're going to take our plate. You're going to get a bigger piece of paper, okay? And we're going to need some tape. Ashley, would you grab me a blue from the bottom box down low on the floor? All right. So my plate has got to go this way. All right, notice it goes, because I want to be able to get four of them on here. So it's going to go underneath this big piece of paper, and because it's longer this way, I will put it like this. My hot dog, on the other hand, went that way. So in order to get four, you have to position it properly. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to line this up. I'm going to put my tape on there, and I'm going to fold it over just to kind of hold it in place. 
Now, because I only have one piece of tape, I'm still going to need to hold this down. So I want to make sure that it's lined up over here. So I'm still going to hold it down, but that's going to help a lot to have that tape on there. I'm going to do, what did I, oh, purple and blue here. So I don't know that it matters for sure which color I do first, but I think I'm going to start with the purple. I know how that looks. So again, I'm going to go along the edge of the plate and make sure all of my image shows up. Once I hit that edge, I know I can kind of stop right there, try to keep it primarily in one direction, although you guys watched me just do this and this. I, what I don't want you to do is to scribble in all different directions. So I'm going to start by doing what I did before, just kind of go across it like this. Not bad. Then I'm going to go up and down just a little bit, kind of skim the top of it. And since I'm using a second color, I might just say I'm going to stop right there and now move on to the second color. So I'm going to do everything the same, but I'm going to start out kind of light with this blue because I don't know if I want blue to be the main color or if I want purple to be the main color. But what you're going to notice is I'm getting some blue hints coming along the edge here. Let me zoom in, give you a little bit better view here. All right, so I'm gonna skim the blue. I don't like the direction that's taking, so I'm gonna go up and down here. And this is how we do two colors. Now, when I do my other four prints, <clears throat> excuse me, my other three prints, I can do, please listen, I can do blue again or purple again, but I do not want you to do the combination of those two again. So maybe in my next one, I'm going to do yellow and blue, or maybe I'm going to do purple and red, all right? Um, but I'm going to then take this off. Let's just say we're completely done with this. I'm going to very gently peel that tape off, going away from my image, because I don't want to rip my paper, even if you barely have fingernails, because mine are pretty short. This will work. I'm just going to take the tape. I'm going to peel it off like this, and then I'm going to now slide this over to this side to do my next print. Now, am I doing the same colors? No, I just answered that. Could I do blue over here? Yes. Yeah, but I could do blue in a different color if we want to. Well, I would really encourage you to shake it up a little bit and say, okay, how can I really make these bright colors? This was a different size plate, which is why we have a little bit of a gap here. Um, but they will, yours are actually going to line up where there won't be any gap. All right? If you get to this point, great today. If not, we'd have one more day tomorrow. Um, but that's our goal, okay?